My name's Dan and uh, this is my JL Rubicon. We just got back from uh, two days in the George Washington National Forest and we got two uh, videos coming out about those trails. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, before I unpack the Jeep, I figured I'd uh, kind of give you all a tour of uh, uh, what it takes to go out uh, overlanding, at least what my setup is anyway. So if this is something you're interested in, please like and subscribe so you can be alerted to the, to the next video. Like I said, there's a couple uh, trail videos coming out, one of big levels to um, the Bald Mountain Jeep Trail, and then another one of Enchanted Creek, uh, which is a, a trail we found right outside of Buena Vista. So um, pretty good stuff, and I uh, hope you like it. But anyway, if you're interested in this, uh, stick around and we'll show you what's in the Jeep. All right, starting in the back, we have the trasheroo. So that's where we have our trash, carry our firewood, and you can put a whole bunch of extra stuff in there. All right, so in one of the videos that we um, had shown previously, we have the tailgate table. Like I said, I haven't unpacked anything, so we still got pillows. So we've got our tailgate table. Um, and then in here, these are um, our go trad tracks. Uh, they serve to level the Jeep, but they're also a lot like traction boards. We have our uh, lava box, which is the portable fire pit. An 11 pound propane cylinder our uh, clean waste portable toilet um, if you guys don't have one of these or haven't taken a look at this um, I highly recommend it it makes um, camping especially if your uh, significant other is with you um, and you need some privacy it's a good thing to have We have our 24-inch uh, uh, partner stove. This is what we do almost all of our cooking on. And then we have two uh, rigid stackable boxes. The first one is basically our camp kitchen. We have a cutting board, the griddle for the partner stove, our collapsible sink, the um, hose for our propane bottle, spices, oils, cleaning things all stick in this. And what I like about these rigid containers is they stack on top of one each other and then they lock in pretty well. Next to it is um, camp pots. So this has got a, a bunch of skillets and pots and drink cups and things in it. We have the fuel hose and regulator for the lava box. And then in my DeWalt bag, we have uh, extra batteries for the uh, electric chainsaw, which I'll show you in just a second, chargers. And then uh, we have a small impact uh, gun to go with it. Next to that is the Iceco. Uh, B45 and this has all of our um, stuff in it. So this had two days of food for six people. On top of that, we have our a tepa, that's our table. We have our front runner chairs so they sit up on top of the front runner boxes and then we have our two front runner boxes so 
So this one has our, um, uh, basically our camp setup. So all of our plates, knives, utensils, all those kinds of things in here. And the second box has extension cords, uh, fire starters, uh, jet boil, a bunch of other different things in there um, to get us all uh, ready for cooking. All right, on this side, sleeping bag, uh, backpack with some extra stuff, toilet paper, paper towels, more pillow, blanket, the tripod for our light ranger, so that's the area light, uh, we did a video on that, that thing worked out great um, for us because the first night we got back and um, it was dark uh, as we pulled in the camp. We have our Claymore fan. Uh, these things are awesome, uh, by the way. If you haven't looked them up, um, it's a great addition. And just a shoe bag for the rooftop tent. Also in here um, is we, um, if you watched the video of me putting together the dual battery system, um, on that top, what we put together was uh, a series of rigid boxes. The bottom one has got some J-hooks in it, which pull that bottom box down to the top and hold it tight. And then, uh, so in here we've got the bottom one, there is uh, wrenches, um, a tool roll, and a bunch of other odds and ends. Uh, the middle one is impact. Uh, guns to change tires with if we need to and on the top we have all of our recovery gear and then these boxes lock to each other so they're perfectly it's rock solid and doesn't move we have some bar chain oil for the chainsaw and then a kinetic strap um, if we ever need to and then underneath that we've got uh, impact sockets uh, one addition um, that I didn't show made a little box for a little blue C 12 volt panel and what that does is it gives me the voltage of the uh, battery um, that we have set up. So we have a just a normal 12 volt socket outlet that you can plug in. And then we have a dual uh, USB outlet too. So um, that works pretty good. So that gives me an active battery monitor uh, voltage uh, for the uh, second battery. So pretty happy with how all that worked out. It's tucked up right here in the corner. Um, bolts down to the top of the tray and uh, works pretty good. Also on this side is our green elephant utility tent and uh, this basically creates the bathroom. Um, you put this up and you stick the toilet on the inside of it um, and it gives you a nice private place to go to the bathroom. On this side we have our end deflate system and what this allows us to do is to deflate um, or inflate uh, two tires at once. We have a small camping table, our Jeep Warm recovery kit, a canvas um, fire uh, wood carrier, work gloves, a belt, dog food carrier. These, these people, um, Kurgo dog stuff, they make a couple cool products. We found them at the expo, uh, really like them. All of our tent setup stakes uh, for the rooftop tent. All right, the last things on this side is we have recovery point for the tow hitch. We have a life sight saver jerry can. If you guys haven't taken a look at these, I highly recommend them. We have our uh, DeWalt uh, brushless chainsaw. 
Uh, we have, oh, and this is Sam's area. So this is where uh, Sam lives. Got a, a French press coffee from uh, Brewtech. If you guys haven't checked these folks out, they're awesome. So this is the chainsaw we have, super handy for cutting up firewood, for limbing things. If there's a tree across the uh, trail, it's easy to cut up, safe, light, uses a 12 volt battery. And then we have a Viair 100% uh, duty cycle air compressor uh, to help air the tires back up. Uh, we also keep a camp ax down here in the floorboard. We got a fire extinguisher. Next to the fire extinguisher, we have a NOCO uh, charger that can uh, jumpstart the batteries in the Jeep. So um, everything works out pretty good. It's kind of shoehorned in here. All right, so that's a, a walkthrough of what we carry in our Jeep. I know it was kind of quick. I didn't go into every box or everything, but that's kind of what we take with us. It kind of gives us the ability to do everything that we need to do and a whole lot more than we probably have to do. Uh, but just in case it's there, uh, we need it. And the the videos will show, you know, this Jeep is more than capable of carrying that weight. Um, and it gives me a lot of peace of mind and that's uh, really what it's all about. And, you know, a lot of people try and do things for less and, uh, and I understand that, but I want stuff that works. I want stuff that's going to make us comfortable and make everything enjoyable. And sometimes that means you carry a little bit of extra weight. So if you like what you saw, please like, subscribe. Uh, so you can be notified of the next video. Appreciate you watching. For those that have subscribed to the channel, I appreciate you guys subscribing and following us along on our journey. Um, this is uh, Fisher Jeep Adventures. We'll see you next time.